and welcome back to the Origins Summer Preview. I'm Eric Summer here with Frank from R and R Games. Yeah. We're looking at this is a first look. Oh, it's a first look. At yeah. a at a uh, really interesting looking, more complicated game. It really for is. R and R. Yeah. It's yeah. sort of on that that end of the spectrum. It's a meaty Euro style game. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mombasa. Mombasa. This is from uh, Pegasus and Eggerspiel. Yeah, they're um, doing uh, in, in Germany, and yeah. we do, of course, the English version. Excellent. Yeah. So tell us about this. There's a lot to look at. There really is. This is a kind of a game where you're exploring into Africa. So you're in the 18th century of Africa. Okay. And we're just kind of, uh, we have these companies that are in four major cities in Africa, Mombasa, St. Louis, and a couple others. And what you're doing is you're basically trading goods during the game to buy into the shares of these companies and then explore further to make the companies more valuable. Okay. At the end of the game, whoever ends up with the most money is gonna win the game, all right? Okay. But you can get money in many different ways in this game, all right? One, obviously, is to gain shares of these four companies, okay? okay. That's gonna pay off in the end based on the value at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. However, this is Africa, time of diamond mines, okay? There's a lot of diamond mines that are being discovered. Yeah. So you have a diamond track. As you gain more diamonds, you suddenly start to have more value. So you see here, as I cross this line, I will gain 10 victory points at the end. Okay. If I cross here, it's 15 and so on and so okay. forth. Okay. Um, you can also um, do some creative bookkeeping in this game, okay? Oh, okay. This is the ledger track. In this one, you're uh, going to have little bookkeeper books that give you certain advantages as you basically get to that level. Okay. So, and again, the more you add, the more points you're going to get at the end of the game. Okay? All right. So there's several different ways to gather points for this game. Sure. Okay? Like we said, it's a meaty game. Um, and of course, gold is translated into points at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. You have a hand of cards. This has a very unique mechanism in this game that I really, really like. You have, uh, uh, as you see here, I have three piles of cards. These are cards that I've used already, okay? Okay. When I play my turn, and, and the turns are, that we reveal simultaneously, okay. and then we'll go in a turn order. This, this shows that I'm the, the, the first turn order. Gotcha. Um, and I would play my cards face down like this, okay? Notice I'm playing in the three slots opposite of those. Yeah. As I create these uh, paths, however, I can open up two more slots to play in. Oh. All right, so I only have a hand right now of eight cards. Or it's a very small hand. But as I play the game, I will gather more cards from this display. Okay. So I'm building a deck yeah. in this game as well. Okay. All right. So I might uh, reveal here. And these are the actions that I can do this turn. Yeah. But I have these five actions. Okay. So. Uh, for example, in here, it shows that I've got uh, three cotton and one coffee bean to trade. Okay. So what I might do is I might take my three cotton, all right, I put them up here, and I'm going to basically buy something out of here that costs up to three. So let's say I wanted this card here, all right, so I basically have used this up, I take this. Um, actually, I don't really need the market because I just took the card. Okay. And I've used up two of those already. So I really only have this action left, and I've got this card now in my hand. All right? So it's going to be for next turn. Okay. So I have uh, actions on the board that I can do. I can say that, well, you know what? I'm the only guy with coffee beans here, so I'm going to claim that I have the most coffee, which okay. immediately gives me uh, two uh, along the Cairo track, which uh, I believe this is, that's the Cairo track. Okay. So I would move my little piece there two spaces, okay? Okay. Um, each one of these gives you different bonuses. It might, in, in all of them, you're gonna move up on these tracks. These are the ownership tracks of the company. So notice, I, uh, if I'm here, I, I don't own a share yet, but as soon as I cross to this level here, I now own a share of the company. Okay. If I can get it to here, I can get two shares and so on. Yep. Obviously, I wanna get to the end where I get eight shares. Sure. Right? Control the company. Um, so those are the type of actions you do. There are several different ones here. I won't go into any detail right now, but there's a, if I, let's say I wanted to use uh, uh, this, I might buy, um, I can't buy anything. So I might trade it in for just a movement along that track. Maybe I was back here and I say, you know, I'm going to use that to get up there. No, yeah, sure. All right. I can also do several other things, but one of the most interesting one is if I had played the exploration card. The exploration card, this gives me two points of exploration. And of course, they're all additive, so if I played another two here, I'd have four. Okay. What that means is, I take any of these companies and I start exploring with it. 
So I would say, well, you know, I have two points. I can go here for one. And then there's a line I got across there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for another one. Notice I've revealed two coins, right? Okay. This adds to the value of that company. All right. Okay. So now this is beginning to show the value of this company that whatever share I have is multiplied by that number, by that number. at the end of the game. Okay. But as you explore, so can you lose ground. Because as other people start to push in, they can push me out. Hmm. So I can I can go back and my my, and now your stock, my goes stock goes down. Right. Okay. It's a really, really clever mechanism. Huh. It's really balanced. I really love how it plays. Notice there's icons in here. Each time I go in here and explore, I get a reward. This one here gives me a, a space of movement yep. for that particular one, so I would go up another one. This also gave me a diamond. So I get a diamond and I move along this track. track. Exactly. Yep. Here's the interesting thing. There's a little mine there, okay, a mine symbol. There are in this card deck diamond merchants. As the diamond merchants come out, the more mines you have, the more valuable they are. Okay. Okay. So everything on the board translates into connections with these cards. Okay. So I can get money here. Money I can use to pay for actions over here. I can use, um, uh, what's the other one? These bookkeeping things to get more books onto my track. The books are very, this is a very tricky track, let me warn you, okay? okay? It looks easy, it's not that easy. You have to get whatever's on that book. When you put it there, if you want to actually get the reward for that book, you must have in your display what it says there. Oh, okay. So this is a very tricky track. There's a lot of reward on this track, but it's a very tricky track. So I never win with that track too well, so <laughs> just saying. Okay, here's the very, really, really interesting part. Okay. I've played all these cards, right? I'm done. At the end of all of our turns, all right, we are going to get any rewards we got, and we're going to take one of these stacks, okay, whichever one we want, we can look, we can say, oh, I want this one, and we put it back into our hand, okay? So now we have all these cards available. This is where you could also get stuck, however. If you are splitting up your cards in such a manner that all of a sudden all your coffee beans are in here, mm. well, you're not getting any coffee beans until you get that stack that back. Stack. Right. It's a really, okay. really neat little mechanism. Very unusual, but it works really, really well. So this yeah. is obviously a prototype version. And this is early... just the prototype, yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful prototype, is it, it not? It yeah. is. So but when should we expect the, the real version? This is coming out for Essen. Okay. All right. Um, it may arrive in the United States slightly earlier, we're hoping. Okay. Uh, but uh, we're, we're looking at a September, October release. Excellent. Frank, yeah. thank you. Mombasa. Mombasa. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com.